Hi everyone, it's Nicole Lynn, and I am being guided to go into another meditation. So I'm not exactly sure what today is going to bring because I'm just going to go into it, but I'm deeply feeling guided to go into um, the mushroom crown tipped coral. And um, let's just go in and see if there is a journey that this particular species of mushroom would like to um, explore and guide us into and with. So if that is something you are interested in, um, then go ahead and allow yourself to have time and space for a short guided meditation. Allow yourself to have a space or a room where you're not distracted. You can either be sitting up or lying down. If it's safe and comfortable for you to do so, you can close your eyes. And just start to bring your, your attention inward, letting go of the distractions and the outside world. A lot of times when we're tuning into stuff with all of our senses, our sight, our hearing, um, our, our dominant sense traits, we're constantly taking in the outside world. And this is a time to just kind of shut all that down and go inward. And make contact with your breath. It's not about forcing your breath or changing it. It will change on its own if it wants to. But just starting to become aware of it and feeling the inhalations and the exhalations. You can even make some sounds on the exhale just to sink a little deeper in and release even more. Ah. <sighs> And with that, you might start to become aware of your heart beating, the subtle vibrations, the energy waves rippling throughout your body. And just know and trust that on this journey, you can let go and surrender and relax even more as you journey and as you continue on the path in this meditation. Just with every breath and every beat of your heart, your body surrenders and relax a little more. And you can trust that. There's no thing that you have to do to make that happen. Just trust every beat of your heart, every breath. You go deeper and deeper in to the state of relaxation and peace. And as we begin this meditation, you find yourself in a forest. Maybe it's a wooded valley. But you look around and there's lots of trees. Start to become aware of maybe even the types of trees. If you don't know their names, that's fine. But notice their texture and colors and shapes and sizes. and allow yourself to wander and explore. Maybe you're drawn to certain trees. Maybe you use your hand to brush the palm of your hand up against and feel the texture or place your hand just over it and feel the subtle vibrations of the tree, making contact with the tree, but also letting the tree make contact with you. Activating all of your senses, your inner seeing, your inner hearing, inner smell, maybe even taste and touch and feeling. And as you look up and you notice the branches 
maybe even parts of the sky shining through. Maybe you can even hear birds. Allow your attention to start to drift down in looking at the earth. Maybe there's ferns and moss and rocks. Notice the landscape of the earth, the trunks of the tree and their connection to the earth. Even notice your feet and your connection to the earth and what's around you. And start to wander. Maybe you're being guided to different patches of earth. And just let yourself trust in your intuition and your guidance, your internal guidance of where you're drawn. Maybe different shimmers and parts of light are coming through and shining in different places. Other places might be more shady. Trust wherever you are guided. Again, activating all of your senses, your inner seeing and inner smell and inner hearing and inner knowing and feeling. And if you want, you can even start to crawl around and get down low to the ground. And maybe even your hands want to start to feel the earth. And if you're not wanting to get down closer to the ground, then just kind of bend your knees a little bit and get a little bit lower or bend your torso over so when you walk, your hands and your eyes are a little bit closer to the ground. And some things you might really become curious about. You might want to hone in and really zoom in and look really close at small things. Just notice this whole other world, sometimes microscopic world that exists. And we so often don't notice. We're just going through our life and going through our days and in our thoughts and only seeing what's right there, obvious, what's making the loudest noise. But when we shift our perception and we look lower to the ground and smaller and the hidden and the microscopic, a whole new world of life forms opens up that's also right here in front of you. But we could have passed it by, walked over it, not even have known it existed. So this is your time to make contact. Again, you might want to use your hands. Feel these things. Feel the stones or the moss or the ferns or the mushrooms. Start to make contact with your hands and your feet and your body and your senses. Mm. And as you're exploring this amazing, beautiful forest and wooded valley, you notice these logs that had fallen down and have been covered with moss. And there's a pile of them up ahead. And it just looks like a fairy haven. It just You're just drawn to it. It just looks like something magical and wonderful is going to be over there. So you slowly approach it again. You're taking very slow and conscious steps. Or if you're crawling, you're... You're moving slow and paying attention to all the details. You can even bring your nose down and smell the earth. And as you approach these logs, this beautiful white, like, like a sea coral in, in the ocean, is like blooming up in this cluster. And just... You just are looking at it like you are witnessing and seeing something so extraordinary, so beautiful. Something that feels like it's a part of the ocean and yet you're in the forest. And you just marvel at it and you're looking at it with all the details and you can use your fingers to just touch little by little, each little coral stem, like little tiny spikes and pokes and sticks reaching out and they all are connected to each other and there's hundreds of them. If you, if you don't know what a coral mushroom looks like, that's okay. Just 
use your imagination. And if you, if you have seen a picture or seen them in real life, then go ahead and draw from what you have seen. But any of it's okay. We all can imagine what the coral of the, of the sea looks like. Well, this is white. And it's growing from these logs. And the branches are stemming up and there's hundreds of them. It's like a little Atlantean village in a mushroom. And you can bring your nose up to it and even smell it and smell how earthy it is. You can touch it. But I invite you to find a comfortable place. Maybe your head's going to be leaning up against the log. Whatever is comfortable, you don't have to worry about ticks and bugs and anything. This is your world of imagination. This is a safe place where nothing can hurt you. You don't have to fear anything here. So find a comfortable place next to the coral mushroom and allow yourself to lie down. And just intend right now, I would like to connect with you. I would like to receive a transmission from you into me and receive any kind of guidance that wants to come through me today. Anything you want to share from your world, from your perspective, from your advantage point as this crown-tipped coral mushroom. And you don't have to rush into thinking, just keep surrendering. Remember, with every breath and every beat of your heart, you can relax and sink deeper in. It's almost like you can receive the best guidance when you kind of disappear and you surrender so much that you become nothing and now you can receive an impression from the mushroom. So lying down and just surrendering, surrendering, you can even imagine your body is sinking deeper and deeper into the earth, slowly disappearing with every breath. And you just ask this crown tip coral mushroom to enter into your awareness. And maybe it literally speaks to you. Maybe you just have a clear knowingness. You just start to um, have, this, have these words or thoughts appear and you can just trust it. Maybe it gives you feeling senses and impressions in your body, makes you feel certain things. Maybe memories come up. Maybe symbols and images, colors. Trust anything that shows up. Maybe even a taste, maybe even a, a food or an impression in any form. It could even be a song. You surrender and get out of your thinking mind way. Relax and sink deeper into the earth. And this beautiful crown tip coral mushroom approaches you and just blesses your awareness, giving you a gift of insight that you most need to hear today. As you relax and let go, you can receive the message ever more clearly. We don't have to second guess what we receive. It doesn't even have to make sense. Just receive it. And if you've received a message, then just say thank you and place this message, some symbology, whatever it is, into your heart and just breathe it in. And if you are having a hard time and you don't feel like you received anything, that's okay too. You can always come back to this and do it at a later time. Or maybe you're going to get some impressions and insights later on as you move through your day. Or maybe even in the dream world tonight when you sleep. So you can trust. Just keep getting out of your way, letting go if you're overthinking about it. And just crown tip coral. Any messages you want to reveal to me and through me, I openly and graciously receive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as you are breathing and you're allowing yourself to be here, you can again give thanks to the crown tip coral mushroom for showing up in your meditation today. And slowly wiggling your toes and fingers, you can start to become aware 
of the forest that you were lying down in. These mossy logs. You can look at the mushroom and smile, knowing that you just received the most beautiful message from it. And if you didn't, then know that it's going to be working with you and the messages will show up in whatever form they need to show up in your life. And you can trust that. And maybe you can rub your fingers and touch it ever so gently one more time. Maybe you want to smell it. But just give thanks for this amazing encounter with this otherworldly mushroom that is here in a part of our earth. like we're meeting new species, worlds within worlds within worlds. And when you're ready, you can look around at the forest that you find yourself in and stand up if you're not already and just look up high, look all around, look low, maybe even twirl around, reach your hands out. <sighs> You can even bend down and move your hands like you're fluffing a pillow all the way up your body until you're standing and reaching far up into the heavens. <sighs> Bring your hands down to your sides. A hand over your belly and a hand over your heart, knowing and trusting that you can have these interactions all the time with anything. You can go out into the forest or go outside and sit with your, your spine up against a tree or lay down and talk to a dandelion, a dragonfly, a hummingbird, the sky, the clouds, the mushrooms, anything, the river, the rocks, the mountains. And you can also go into these meditations and have these experiences evermore, more and more trusting in your inner wisdom, your inner guidance of what shows up and gets revealed to you, through you, in whatever moment you are showing up in. And not constantly second-guessing and thinking, is this right? And let me look this up and Google it and see if other people receive this. But just trust in your own innate wisdom. Whatever is showing up for you is perfect. And so it's with us that we start to step out of the forest. Give thanks before you fully step out of the forest turn around and look back and give thanks for the forest for it serves as a portal into otherworldly dimensions and there's much 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 there's infinite worlds for you to explore here and then you'll be back you can come back anytime you want but just having gratitude in your heart and saying thank you and when you're ready, you can face forward and start to come out of the forest and back into your body in the here and now. Wiggle your toes and fingers. And when you're ready, you can even open your eyes and welcome yourself back here with me. I'm giving thanks to Crown Tip Coral Mushroom. And again, if you received anything, that's wonderful. You can write it down in your journal. You can just carry it with you and know that in whichever way that the symbology or the messages um, are meant to show up in your life and help you on your path, it will be there. And um, if, if, again, you had a hard time and nothing really came through, maybe you needed silence. Maybe you just needed the, the peace. Maybe you just felt comforted by the experience. That's okay, too. That's what you needed. And maybe more energy and more insights will come later throughout your day or even in your dream realm. So just be open. So it's with that that I share a little journey um, using the amazing fungi and, and uh, natural world around us as a guide for you to evermore open yourself and connect in this relationship way. Okay. All my love and blessings. Bye-bye.